If you like this video, click on that subscribe button and be notified of more great ideas. We're going to try to make a fixture to sharpen end mills. Not the flutes, just the bottom end. And the first step in that is a nice big plate on the grinder like this. This is a quarter inch thick. And let's see, we're about four inches that way and we're, well, let's say four inches that way. And that is, if you can see underneath, supported right where the original rest was supported. And uh, this, I believe, is a quarter inch also. We've got the slot in here so we can move it in and out. And the next part of this is we're going to uh, come up with a right angled piece of metal that we're going to mount on here. And that is going to be part of our guide system. What we've done here, we've taken a 1 8 thick piece of metal. It's 4 inches long and 3 inches wide. And we've kind of roughed an L shape out of it. And this leg is uh, just over an inch. We're going to put it in the mill and mill off so we're down to about an inch. Nothing's fussy about this for sizes except for the thickness of the metal. Nothing more than an eighth is going to work. And then the same with this leg, it's, uh, it's about three quarters of an inch. We'll just put that in the mill and make it square to this side that we're milling also. So we'll take that over to the mill right now. had this block made for another project it's a uh, three-quarter by three-quarter and it is two and a quarter inches long and in this end we have a 3 8 24 tapped hole that goes approximately oh I'd say about three quarters of an inch deep and in this end we have a half inch hole that goes down to meet that tapped hole. Now this block is only good for sharpening half inch diameter end mills like this one. And the idea is that you slide that in there, you rotate this to the correct position which we'll go over later and there's a set screw here that you could lock this in position with. Now in the other end the 3H24 screw goes in here and all that is is to give you a fine adjustment. You can actually move that inward. I don't know if you can see that moving, but it's moving that inward. And we'll go over that too once we get this all set up on our grinder with the L attached to it. So we've clamped our L shape down to the plate here and this angle that you can see it's tilted off to one side use one of these to set it up to two degrees two degree tilt and the idea now is to set this up so that this can slide into the stop and you got to get your end mill oriented properly like so and move to the right position so that the edge of the wheel goes to the center of the end mill and then everything should be locked up right here. What you're going to do next is undo the screw a little bit and just give this a slight turn. However much you turn this, that's how much you're going to grind off. I found an old end mill, which is a little longer than the one we've been using here. Uh, but the flutes on this one are fairly decent. The other one pretty well had no flutes. 
So what we've done is we've blocked up the end with a magic marker so we can see where we've cut. We've got this lined up here so that the center of the end mill is on the edge of the wheel. And we've turned our adjusting screw in just a tiny little bit farther than we uh, had initially when we put this on to set it up on center. So we're going to go ahead and grind this now and see what happens. It looks like we're lined up pretty good here. Okay, here we go. And we'll rotate, rotate that 180 degrees and do the other side. Got a little bit more to do on the first side there. Not bad. We'll put this in the mill and see how it works. We're going to take about 20 thou off the top and just have a look and see what kind of a cut we get with it. Well, it doesn't look too bad. Pick it up and have a closer look. That, that looks pretty good. Nice smooth surface there. So the uh, sharpening fixture seems to work. So now again, this is only good for half inch end mills. You'd need uh, another uh, block and uh, maybe three eighths holes for your three eighths uh, end mill shafts. And if you had a four fluted end mill, then instead of turning this 180 degrees, you'd only turn it 90 degrees at a time when you've got it on here for all four flutes. And it does give you some regulation over your depth of cut because you have the screw to adjust it. 